Today, Propylene Brothers is going to review this hotly anticipated new launch located right in Amokyo District 20 called Amo Residences. So stay tuned as we deep dive. Let's go. You have to pay a premium to enjoy the bright space that comes along with this penthouse unit. This entire project... Something that's very interesting is that on this particular step, which is step nine, one, one drop off point, point, you have a gym. Plus. So we're gonna head in. Let's go. Mission control. We have lift off. Alright, so I'm going to give you some context about this development called Amo Residences that is located right in District 20. And this is a hotly anticipated new launch located right within Amokyo because this entire plot actually received 15 bids from all the developers and the winning bid actually goes to the joint venture of UOL, King Leong as well as Singapore Land Group. So the entire plot sits on a land size of 1,360 over 1,000 square feet and is located just right along Amokyo Avenue 1. We are expecting to have panoramic views that overlook towards the ladder and cliff as well as the park. Of course, the entire site plan has yet to be firmed up but we think this is going to be a hotly anticipated development because there hasn't been any new launch for the past 8 years right within Amokyo. Alright, so first up, let's talk about location. This is actually located just within close proximity to two MRT stations that is on the Thompson East Coast Line. Within walking distance, that will bring us towards Bright Hill MRT and Bright Hill MRT is also going to be the interchange for the future Cross Island Line and that will bring us towards the North-South Line as well as towards the future Beauty World area. A few stops down, that will bring us towards Caldicott and Caldicott will allow us to change towards the Circle Line. Another two stops down, that will bring us towards Stevens and that will allow us to interchange towards the Downtown Line. Last but not least, towards the Orchard and that will bring us towards the north-south line again. So this is going to give you great connectivity just because of the involvement of the MRT station that's going to bring a whole pool of tenants demand that might potentially look into renting your development. And for those that drive, you're within easy access towards the CTE and few years down the road where the north-south corridor has been constructed, that's going to bring you easy access towards town as well as to other parts of Singapore. And naturally, when we talk about Amokyo, this is definitely a mature estate. You have almost everything within reach, amenities, shopping malls, connectivity, as well as recreational zones such as the parks that are all within close proximity towards this particular development. Right, so now let's take a closer look in terms of the entire site plan. This entire land plot is sitting on a site area of about 136,000 square feet of land size with a total units estimating to be at about 372 units spread across two blocks up to about 25 stories. So that's going to give you a panoramic view depending on the site plan. Now this is sitting on a 99 years lease hole and that also means that you are going to be the newest kid on the block with some of the newer developments such as Panorama and Thompson Grand that is just right within the vicinity. And the estimated TOP date is going to be towards 2026. Now in terms of developers, I think you can rest easy because amongst these three major developers that are combining efforts to develop these armor residences, altogether their past records consist of projects such as Clairvon, Water Gardens, Avenue South Residences, Mayer House, Thompson Tree, which is just right within close proximity, the Trevor, Principal Garden, Clement's Canopy, and many more. So I think you can definitely rest easy in terms of the quality as well as the track record. Now the next anchor point that we want to take a look is who are your potential buyers that might buy into your development and naturally when we are talking about private developments, uh, the majority of the buyers will naturally come from the HDB upgraders and we take a look at the entire Amokyo town hub itself. There are a few HDB classes that are spreading across Amokyo. These are high value HDBs because in terms of the past transactions, some of the HDBs in Amokyo, they are already touching towards a $1 million mark. Some of the HDB clusters are potentially reaching towards the TOP in uh, about 2023 and 5 years down towards 2028 when they reach their MOP period. That will also be the time that you're hitting the resale market and you will also have a ready pool of buyers that are ready to buy into your department. Now other than the HDB upgraders, we also want to take a look at some of the landed homeowners that might potentially want to downgrade, especially when they are so familiar with the area, they would like to stay within the same area but change of environment, especially when the kids have already get married and they move out of the place, they want to downsize, they do not want to spend a huge amount of time to maintain and upkeep their landed property, they might cash out and then buy into this development to enjoy the facilities, to enjoy a change of view, especially having a panoramic view across the reservoir, across the park. And I think that's going to be a lovely development. Then again, that will form another buyer pool that you are potentially looking at. 
And when you take a look at the land bid price, they are entering at about 1,118 per square foot per plot ratio. And what that translates to a kind of estimated break-even price, that's going to bring the entire break-even price to maybe about $1,900 per square foot pricing. And with that in mind, we estimate the entire launch price to be starting at a conservative price range of about $2,000 to $2,001 per square foot pricing. Now at this current juncture, you might be thinking, hey, is $2,000 to $2,100 per square foot pricing going to be something that is already very expensive in today's context? as we take a look at projects that are located towards the northern part of Singapore, especially towards Canberra area. Our um, water gardens at Canberra, they are already transacting at about 1,003, um, some even touching towards the 1,400 per square foot pricing. And when we take a look at the resale market, Skyview at Bishan, that is within close proximity towards Bishan MRT station, um, the highest per square foot pricing is already transacted at $1,928. Project at Skyview actually TOP back in 2016, so we still have a long runway to go and if you to of course, the highest per square foot pricing being 1009 And I think in my opinion, for the new launch pricing, that's going to be a starting price range of 2000 and 2001 and above. Take a look at another very popular new launch that was just recently launched at Leaf at MB, which is towards the Katong Park MRT station, towards District 15. Now, the per square foot pricing launch is already at 2003 to 2004, and we still see um, great take-up rates at about 70 over percent that was snapped up right on the first day of launch. So I think that also shows signs of uh, the pent-up demand that is currently in the market right now. So naturally, with the PSF of 2000-2001 kind of range, that's going to give rise to a more efficient kind of layout. You can achieve a smaller square footage and that will naturally keep the price quantum to be more palatable um, to cater to a wider crowd of audience. So at this current juncture, we are not sure well, what are the number of bedroom types that will potentially be rolled out in terms of the layout, but we do expect to see a 2 bader 3 bader as well as a 4 bader Averaging in terms of the size for a 2 bader they are definitely going towards a range of 600 plus to 700 plus square feet. I think the highest tier for the 2 bader might potentially go towards a 1.6 million mark, and for the 3 bader they might be going towards a 800 plus square feet to maybe just touching the 1,000 square feet mark. Uh, 3 bader might go cross the $2 million mark, and when we are talking about 4 bader that will likely be in a range of 1,200 odd square feet and the 4 bader might cross towards the 2.5 to 2.6 million mark. Naturally, when we are talking about a higher floor, especially when we are moving towards the level 24 or level 25, the per square foot pricing will naturally go upwards. That might potentially reach towards the 2,200 per square foot pricing. Now, of course, in terms of the pricing, that is just purely based on our opinion as well as estimation. And we're going to deep dive next into how does it fare against the rest of the developments that is surrounding within the entire vicinity. Firstly, at Panorama, which is one of the newest developments, newest kids on the block. TOP in 2019, that is a 99 years lease home. Huge development with about 698 units spread across a 1 beta all the way to a 5 beta. They are hovering towards a 1,008 to 1,009 per square foot pricing. And I think in terms of the disparity, if we are looking at a launch price of about 2,001, that is not a great price disparity between the 99 years resale. And I think in terms of the disparity, is not too far off because we are just having a delta of maybe about $150 to $200 per square foot pricing and it will be interesting to see how the layout will fare because in terms of the entire overall quantum pricing that is going to be very competitive comparing to some of the resale market now next we have Thomson Impression TOP back in 2019 also sitting on a 99 years leasehold total number of units is 288 units Um, they do have a mixture of 1 beta to 3 beta at this current juncture there is no 4 or 5 beta available on the market for 3 beta the average asking price is over between 1.9 to 2.1 million dollars per square foot pricing is as high as 1,900 dollars per square foot pricing. Again, the entire price quantum should be somewhat similar to Panorama and overall price quantum, we don't think that is going to be far off from the new launch prices at Armour Residences. Now next up, we have Clover by the Park, a hugely popular development that is right within the Bishan Park area itself, just adjacent to where Armour Residences is located. TOP back in 2012, sitting again on the 99 years leasehold, there is a huge project with 616 units for 3 bidder there, they are boasting a huge layout that is ranging from 1,200 over square feet to 2,000 over square feet. Average price quantum is ranging between 1.9 to about 2.88 million dollars. When we take a look at the entire price quantum, naturally, when you have a bigger layout, even though your PSF is smaller, that's going to give rise to a higher quantum and when we take a look at the larger 3 bidder layout in Clover by the park, might already be touching towards a 4 bidder price quantum at Armour Residences. And next, as we take a look at some of the other developments that are again hugely popular, Gardens at Bishan and Thompson Grand, the entire Entire price quantum is also hovering between 1.8 to about 2 over million dollars. So I think if let's say Armour Residences developer they are able to achieve a very efficient layout, then I think in terms of the quantum basis, that's not going to differ much from what are available in the resale markets. And if let's say 
you are someone that really prefers something new, you do not mind a more efficient layout, you do not need such a huge space, then definitely you can have Armour Residences as one of your options if you are considering buying into a development that is located within the vicinity. Now we also want to take a look at how it fares against some of the freehold developments namely the Adana as well as Meadows at Pierce. Now for the Adana, the TOP back in 2018, freehold in nature, they have about 74 units over there. Um, price quantum, they belong to the slightly smaller layout where the three bidders are hovering between 721 square feet to 900 over square feet. Average price quantum is between 1.5 to about 1.7 over million dollars. Per square foot pricing is averaging at about 1,900 odd dollars. Price quantum per square foot pricing, I think that's going to be very competitive against the Amo residences. But then again, if let's say you're not too concerned about freehold or whether it's a leasehold, and if you want something new in a brand new location, then uh, I think the decision is pretty much up to you. Whether would you want to go into Adana or some of the other older freehold developments such as Meadows at Pierce, Again, another hugely popular project right over there. Three bidder, they are standing at a size of 1,300 over square feet. Three bidder quantum basis is going to be at a $2 million range. For four bidder, they belong to the larger type of layout. Our price quantum is already going past a $3 million mark towards a $3.5 million. They are located about three bus stops away from Lentor MRT station. So, if, let's say you are someone that prefers a low rise development, go for that development as Meadows appears. But if you wish to stay in a high rise development, then definitely you might want to consider Armour Residences. The next very important factor that we want to take a look at also Now for Amo residences, you have three primary schools that are within 1km They are namely Ai Tong School, Amokyo Primary School, as well as CHID St. Nicholas Girls School And all these three schools are hugely popular amongst parents When you have schools that are within 1km to your development That will also give rise to a strong demand when parents are looking to buy into your development to enroll the kids into school If you choose to rent it out, tenants will also potentially be using the address to stay for a good period of 30 months to register the kids for the schools this will also give rise to your exit plan or your rental plan in time to come. Just to summarize, Amo Residences is sitting right along Amokyo Avenue 1 on a hotly anticipated new launch that has been waiting for the past few years. Smack within close proximity to two MRT stations on a very well connected Thompson East Coast Line and are within 1km to 3 schools and lots of HDB upgraders from the million dollar flats that we are talking about within the Amokyo vicinity as well as the landed homeowners. Again, those are going to form part of your buyer's pool in time to come when you choose to exit. And if you are keen to find out more in terms of which unit is the best tech, which is the most valuable money and which one will allow you to exit. Feel free to get in touch with our team, we'll be happy to dissect all this information, deep dive and run through the full stack analysis with you. Once again, my name is George Payne from Brian Brothers. Stay tuned for our next episode of the new launch series.